Okay, I seem to be updating some of my ho uh, hobbies now. Definitely have way too much time on my hands. All right, I. Uh, it's very easy to get distracted now. Uh, the best I can do, it seems, is to just find ways to amuse myself that don't take up, don't become major distractions. There's nothing wrong with minor distractions, you know, just don't lose sight of what you're actually doing. Okay, so. Uh, although certain pursuits may have definite appeals, the amount of effort, if not expense, usually both, uh, can be can become considerable if you're not careful, without any effort at all. So, major distractions are not acceptable, especially when you're trying to actually get something done. Minor distractions, on the other hand, are very desirable. <laughs> I mean, you can only be so focused for so, you know. So. It looks like I'm going to just uh, revamp some old hobbies of mine. I'm such a thorough geek. Okay. So. I was raised in Miami. I'm not quite sure if most people grasp what that really means this is coming from an immigrant family mind you okay very uh it, it's not it's really southern with a capital s anymore because political agendas being what they are the uh, culture that I, uh, cultural, cultural baggage, cultural uh, group I happen to come from is uh, very um, is favored among certain people with certain agendas in that culture. So uh, it's a very, well, <laughs> it's very, uh, I won't say unusual, I wish I could say unusual set of circumstances, but it's, uh, has its distinctions. So it's a kind of a weird way to grow up. But anyway, I used to read books aloud. The most compelling part of this was to ensure that I would not sound like most of my relatives. <laughs> you, growing up in these circumstances, you are really quite a little shit. Excuse my French. Um, it's not very pleasant and your character certainly isn't very pleasant going through it. So you can really <laughs> look at the Latin kids in this culture. I mean, most of them are really rude little so-and-sos. Yeah, and growing up is not <laughs> an easy process in our great American culture. Okay, and this is, it, it's actually a little easier now because this multiculturalism thing exists, but when I was growing up, it didn't exist in any sense of the word, okay, <laughs> uh, that's nasty, so, yeah, so, <laughs> such a shit, 
Okay. Um, yeah, it's a hard way to grow up. But anyway, uh, yeah, it was one of my hobbies. I'd actually read books aloud. So, and being a little snotty sh that I, <laughs> the the more um, hmm, pretentious the material, the better. Yeah, I was a nasty. I'm not far from it now, but what? <laughs> but okay, uh, I can never get around Shakespeare. That's that's pretty hard to to, to just pick up a. You know. And even now, the only book I can pick up and actually do that would be something like Romeo and Juliet, because we had to do that in school, right? So we had that added hmm, uh, exposure and experience and you know they make you, you know, watch the videos and go through the lines and they you know break it down and talk about it and so that's a lot easier to pick up a book and just read it at that point you know so, but just to pick up a, a you know a script and try to read it <laughs> that's, that's damn hard so yeah uh, so yeah, I'm a geek and I don't mind going that extra mile, but that's like an extra hundred miles to so, say, you know, like, psh, yeah, um, a lot of, um, false starts, you know, start the you know, sporadic attempts at it, but that's really hard work, so, although I, that was like an ongoing thing with me. That's almost like trying to learn a musical instrument. That's a lot of effort. And if you're not really getting anything out of it, except maybe a bit of an ego trip or whatever in the attempt, come on, really. Um, no, but the other part stuck. You know, it, it became a, a, a hobby and, uh, yeah, yeah. Did it serve me well in any other way? Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I found out what a bunch of BS, you know, that a lot of cultures that a lot of people still revere or or look at with with reverence, yeah, kind of <laughs> ridiculous. Um, you know, just so pompous and full of it themselves that, you know, even people from their own their group couldn't help but, you know, ridicule them. It was really... So, they gave me that, so I suppose that's something, but... <laughs> that. um, yeah. Anyway, it was a bona fide hobby. And, uh... Improved my reading skills, so that's good. One being a good student would actually serve some purpose. I was able to, you know, for that very rude, I'm such a snot. <laughs> so, yeah, I suppose that and keeping a journal. I also found that really improved your that improves your writing skills a lot. Um, so whatever insecurity or cultural clashes that this hobby has started out that was the source of, of you know the the origins of this uh, journey. Um. Yeah, well, you know, it served the purpose when I wanted to be a good student. I, I could. So. And I stopped being snooty and just started getting serious for whatever, to fulfill whatever objective I may have had, you know, yeah, I was able to. So, yeah, I guess it served a purpose, practical purpose. So, yeah. 
Um, there seems to be some concern now that the fact that we don't read or hold it in as high regard as we, you know, we once did. Uh, you know, we text each other. I don't know if this is real or not, but uh, it seems that we're not as literate a culture as we once were. They claim. I don't think we were ever a literate culture. But supposedly even less so now. Or I've heard that bandied about, that concern. I don't know if it's genuine or not, or if it has any merit or not. It's possible. I don't know. But uh, supposedly with all the texting and all the uh, emojis and, and whatnot, we really don't, and all the, the software that corrects our spelling, we, <laughs> we really don't focus on the fundamentals. They're, they're boring and they're, you know, drills and, and kind of thing. They don't keep our attention too well. And we've got nice little flashy toys nowadays and we don't have to work too hard. Yeah, you know, no, so, yeah, there you go. The ruler on the knuckles don't really serve a thing, and you know most people don't even haven't even done like capital punishment thing that that uh, um, maybe when I was growing up they didn't do that. So and uh, yeah, most a lot of we've changed uh, as a culture as far as what we're prepared to go through a lot. And since if anything, they've made a point of making sure uh, we're not educated more often than not you know if you don't have your own personal reasons for going that extra mile like this little snot did look yeah <laughs> he may not have done so and if I've got to look at some of these television pro which frankly terrifies me. I'm very happy I don't have my own television set because you know, all serial killers and and I've watched one of the Doctor Who's and it's kind of frightening because now it's all comic book I mean really trashy, cheesy stuff that anyone else would have just and the jaws would hit the floor. You know, they, they watched this 30 years ago when I was growing up. I said, what the heck is this trash? You know, kind of thing. So, I, I mean, there was like some responsibility. You would not expose, you would not want a developing mind to look at these concepts and take them seriously on any level. You know, even if you're just goofing off and trying to have a good time, you wouldn't do it because you, know, you had some responsibility of embracing this thing to be able to think and have some understanding of the way the world really works and not be filled with all these comic book concepts, comic book science concepts of the world around them. And it's just, why are you filling a child's head with that nonsense? But now it just seems to be a common thing, so it's... Uh, it's frightening. <laughs> but anyway. I'm hoping that's like an isolated thing and that really doesn't happen. But and then you watch very popular. I happen to be a fan of Big Bang Theory, theory, uh, theory which I just recently discovered. I'm, I'm old. I, I don't watch. And, and you don't you know, make a point of watching television. You can easily. Twelve years old. Anyway. So even watching this thing, I'm getting the sense that are they really filling kids' minds up with all those things? And he's supposed to be, and he's a genius, right? In this, in this program, they're all supposed to be very brilliant people. And even they, you know, when they, they, they mix the goofiness with the real things so much that it's like they can't really separate it. Oh my God. I hope this is just, but I getting, I'm getting the sense that all this cheesiness, all this BS comic book kind of way to 
think about things and really permeated our culture and just warped a lot of minds. So, oh God. <laughs> but anyway, um, why am I rambling on about this? It's an explanation. Yeah. I'm going to amuse myself and probably bore you at the same time, but uh, whatever. For the most part, these videos are, are for my benefit. To keep inspired, to keep, you know, fire under my feet and organize my own approach. And, uh, just the way I'm putting this together. So it's mostly benefiting me. So, this is, uh, again, just revamping a uh, old hobby. Yeah, I saw the Dolly Parton, when these news things were talking about how people are starting to read stories and all that. I really didn't think much about it, but, uh, you know, of all the cool things that people are doing on videos, like, you know, making these little animated things and and uh, drawing things and so I, I kind of like drawing I'm, I'm like completely cruddy at it I'm not really skillful at it either but because uh, that's a lot of hard work to get skillful at that but uh, it, it's amusing and I don't completely suck at it but it's still a lot of work a lot of work and I'm trying to stay focused on what I'm doing so that would be that would have to become a major distraction in order to achieve any decent progress. That's a lot of hard work. And if you're not going to make any money off of it, that's kind of ridiculous. Especially when you're trying to get other things done. So, I'm just revamping all my old stuff at this point. Because you can only hit, yeah, you, know, you can only go and push your own little thing so far. And a few minor distractions are good. This is going to be a marathon, not a sprint. So, yeah. All right, so. I'm desperate to amuse myself here without major distractions. So, okay. I'm going to adopt some minor distractions. I'm just going to revamp some of my older habits that I thought I had put aside quite a while ago. But okay. Well, uh, you know, you get these little. Uh, celebrities starting to read people uh, bedtime stories. I, I guess I can revamp my old hobby of being a complete little shit. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So it enabled me to be a good student when I wanted to be and um, it will keep me amused now. Not too bad. All right, so I'm going to be reading bedtime stories. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm probably going to... I usually, used to pick books by going into a bookstore and going to the uh, paperback classic section. There are not too many bookstores. <laughs> that's a, that's a definitely an old approach. Um, libraries still have paperback sections, so that's, but, um, actually I found it more use because they, because they mix it up with a bunch of modern stuff and I, and I thought, you know, having to read through that was kind of cheesy, so I, I still like being snooty apparently because I just can't be bothered with that pop culture preference stuff. I really am a snooty little shit. <laughs> uh, old habits die hard. 
for whatever reasons I began that journey, getting off of it is not so easy. It really becomes its own monster. Just out of habit. You develop certain sensi sensibilities. Of, luckily, if you're any kind of a decent person, you grow out of some of it and, you know, become watered down so you're not such a pretentious little sh as you were when <laughs> you started out. But, yeah, it kind of, kind of, sort of sticks with you to a certain level, you know. If you're a reasonable person, you know, most of it's kind of, you can wash it off. Okay thing that I'm still stuck with in certain sensibilities <laughs> that I have to deal with. So, I'm sorry, I'm not going to go for the cheesier selections. Um, it's still going to be like going to the uh, cliff note section of the library and going through that and picking out what I want to read. So, let's that's how I'm going to approach it. Uh, it's not called Cliff Notes anymore, though, right? It's Sparks, Spark Notes, or some something like that. Okay, so yeah, all right. No, I'm not going to read the whole damn book. Obviously, I mean, <laughs> those books are kind of. Th We're not talking comic books now. I don't get into comic books. So the real books are, you know, pretty thick. So no, I'm not reading the whole thing. Maybe you know, first chapter. First and last chapter. I don't know. Something like that. First three chapters. I don't know. Or, um, you know, just. If I do end up going through the clip, um, spark notes, I may just thumb through it and pick out a chapter that, for whatever reason, really stands out. Another thing I've found as far as, um, Make my selection is not the top sellers <laughs> and too modern um, movies or more likely than not PBS series. So Yeah, if it, if it made its way into the children's classic, oh, that was an old Bill Bixley uh, <laughs> program I watched on Sunday mornings. Yeah, not a particularly. I don't come from a particularly religious family, so the no, religion obviously played, but eh, we're so controversial. Yeah, but anyway, I digress. Um, Yeah, anything that was given added validity because of these like PBS series or you know or Spark uh Cliff Notes, Spark Notes, whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, it's a uh, easier call. So like I'll I'll, I'll just you know start uh, I'll read the summary and if it's something I think I can get into. I'll, you know that's since there's no bookstore I can walk into and read the back. <laughs> So, yeah. So I don't know what Dolly Parton's reading, but that's how I'm gonna start. That's how I pick my stuff. So I'm gonna dust off that old habit. Yeah, I'll be I'll be reading now. Uh, at least you know, the first chapter. To read certain patches, passages, you really have to go through the entire book. I don't know if anything's going to catch my fancy so thoroughly that I'm going to work it like that. I'm just going to BS my way through them just to read the first chapters. <laughs> you know, if it actually, you know, you know, drags me in, I I'm too busy for that kind of thing distraction though. That would start being a major distraction. Okay? I mean you don't have to develop new skills, but that's kind of you're really starting to focus your shift your focus and hopefully I'm a little bit more responsible than that. <laughs> I don't know. I can be, a little, I can be stupid too, so 
So it probably won't be my favorite segments because that takes some serious delving and, and stuff. Well, I'm probably just going to BS my way through and just read the first chapter. No, first and last chapter. Or no, the first three. Yeah, you know, that's an easy call. So anything else is really starting to become a major distraction and a refocusing, which I do not want to. The whole point of, of just revamping an old habit is so you're not so thoroughly distracted. So you're still using the skill set you have and just you know, tweaking it a bit. No, too busy for, for just you know, high distraction. Okay, good lord, I've been rambling on for 25 minutes. I did a little practice thing with, with the first chapters. Of, let me get into them. It didn't even take that long. Okay, so the explanation further than the, than hopefully the uh, videos, hobby videos will be. All right, so I don't know. I guess the contents. Of, uh, this thing is kind of stuck. The, the sailboat stuck with that without any breeze kind of thing in the middle of the ocean. Um, I guess I'll be amusing myself like this until this thing really starts progressing again. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm signing off. This is already way too long. Talk to you later.